Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome to another episode of the Great Black Speakers podcast where we connect through conversation. I am your host, Lawrence Watkins. I am the founder and CEO of Great Black Speakers. I'm also the president and chief operating officer of the Black Business School. So today we're connecting you with a great friend of ours over at the Black Business School. Uh, his name is Castley Johnson and Castley is the founder and CEO of Trifigo. Uh, and he's going to get into all what Trifigo is, but it's basically a uh, credit app uh, for millennials. Uh, but you know, he ha he's doing a lot more than that, uh, that he's going to explain to you today. But today, we're going to be talking about how to get your credit lit before the upcoming recession. I think we entitled it how to get your credit lit before this recession hits. Uh, because uh, many of you guys want to buy houses, uh, get into this multifamily real estate game. Uh, when to get into other investments. And if you are looking to the bank for some type of loan or financing, you're going to need a great credit score. Uh, so today, Cassidy is going to give us some tips uh, regarding credit and also behaviorally what you can do uh, to continue to increase your credit score as well. So Cassidy, how are you doing today, man? I'm doing great. Thank you, Lawrence and, and um, Dr. Boyce uh, for having me on the platform be able to share a little bit about our platform and what we're looking to build and, and just being good supporters of us, the Black Business School, being supporters of, you know, our vision, what we're trying to help, you know, our users and the larger community in general. Um, so thank you very much um, to the team and uh, looking forward to sharing some of this information with the, the viewers and, you know, passing along and hopefully uh, get everybody up to that 800 credit club. That's right. So we're going to talk about all about the 800 Credit Club. And you know, before we do that, though, can you give the audience a little bit of background about what Trifigo is and then how have you gotten to this point in your career? Yeah. Um, so Trifigo is a app uh, online platform um, that we've launched primarily right now in Android store. But the purpose of it is to really simplify uh, credit and you know, personal finance. Um, why we kind of focus on credit is because credit's the foundation for personal finance. Uh, most of our, the things that we kind of talked about, you brought up earlier, mortgages, uh, multifamily real estate, cars, student loans, um, the foundation of that sits on top of credit and credit scores, access to capital. So that access to capital is highly regulated by this thing, this three-digit number called your credit score, which most people don't understand. And the fact that you don't typically understand it is a disadvantage to you. It's information asymmetry, right? The more, the less you know is the greater the person that's against you going to use that information against you. Um, and not to say that all banks are going to be against you, but it's again, like any kind of competition, you know, it's a friendly competition. And the more you are empowered and the more you have resources, educational resources, access, and just knowledge about certain things, it'll help you to give you the best deal or the best access. Um, so that's really what it comes down to is that there's a lack of you know, true understanding about how important this thing called your credit score is. And so we built this platform to be able to do that, uh, to simplify what is a credit score, why is it important to you, and just to kind of get you that basic level of knowledge. And then after you get to that level of knowledge, then how do we help you to put it into action? So a part of it is where we just want to provide the knowledge, provide the access, and then how do we help you now with that knowledge, put that, instill those behaviors, that knowledge into a behavior that you consistently do over time. And that's actually what helps to improve your credit score is consistent action, the right financial action over time. That really is what is going to improve your score. So I'm not here for the get rich quick scheme, the 150 points in 30 days, you know, credit score stuff, that's not what we're about. We're really about teaching people like, here's the tricks um, of credit, right? Here's where, you know, why credit utilization is important, why payment history is important. Here's what it looks like to a bank. Your credit score is your credit GPA. Mm -hmm. So if you got a 3.0 and the minimum is a 3.0 to require, apply to this job, you can apply. If you have a 2.5 and you apply to a 3.0 job, they're going to reject you. Mm -hmm. Similar aspect with your credit score. If the minimum to get this car loan is 650, you got a 620, not going to get it, right? So it's those principles that we want to simplify for people. Hey, why is this important? 
access to this capital. And once you get access, now there's, there's levels to this, like levels to this game. You might just qualify, you're at the bottom of that brink, but hey, I'm gonna give you, you know, 9% or 8% on this mortgage because you just qualify. But if you qualify, again, as you move up that scale, you qualify really well, get into that 750, 800 club, I'm gonna give you 4%, 3.5%, especially on big numbers, a 300,000, 400,000, half a million, those are huge, huge implications, right? More student loans. The average folks are now getting out of school with 100,000 undergrad, mm -hmm. right? So if you're getting 100,000, that's almost a mortgage, and you're paying 10%, 8% interest rate on that 100,000, you're in the hole for the next 25 years. Right. Right, so, but if you have a good credit score and you reconsolidate that student loan, you can come down to potentially a five and a half, six 6% interest rate. So. Those are the types of things that we want people to understand.